two characteristics of quadratic function P are given. The axis of symmetry of the graph of P is X is equal to negative three, and function P has exactly one zero. Based on this information, which graph could represent P? Well, what I know about zero is that that is one of my rocks words, and it is just another way to say x-intercept. An x-intercept is where the graph crosses the x-axis. And so if we look at our answer choices, letter A touches the x-axis only at this point right here. So that is a possible answer. Letter B touches or crosses the x-axis at these two points, but our answer should only have one place where it touches or crosses the x-axis. Therefore, B is incorrect. For the same reason, letter C is also incorrect. Notice that it crosses the x-axis twice, and so therefore it does not satisfy these two given conditions or characteristics. Letter D does satisfy that characteristic because it crosses or touches the x-axis exactly one time, which means it has exactly one zero. So we're down to A and D, and we need to go back to the first characteristic to find the correct answer. We were told that the axis of symmetry of the graph of P is X is equal to negative 3. Well, remember that the axis of symmetry is that invisible line that cuts the quadratic into two equal parts. So for letter D, that would be this line right here, which occurs at X is equal to positive 3 not negative three. And so D is out of the running to be the correct answer. Notice that letter A has an axis of symmetry that cuts through that vertex, through that uh, parabola to cut it into two equal parts at X is equal to negative three, which is exactly what we wanted for our problem. The answer to this question is letter A.